I got that 50s sort of flip going on now that my hair is getting a little bit longer. I need to learn how to straighten my hair again. I'm just gonna keep it back for this one. Hello, you beautiful people. I'm Alexandra TG, and it's July's reflection. And I'm, I'm, I'm hyped. I'm energized. I don't even drink coffee. Woo! So I'm sorry if I'm a little rambunctious and moving. I'm obviously not sitting because I don't think I can at the moment. Ah! I'm also really hot, but it's reflection, so I have to wear the blazer. Seriously guys, it was like 104 degrees yesterday. I don't do that kind of temperatures. I like to live in 30 degrees. I know I'm weird, but I prefer cold weather. Now, onto the real business. This was some slow month. At least it was for me, good heavens. It was just so slow. I think it lasted like five years and I didn't even know it. I feel like I've aged and I have wrinkles now. Ew. But there was something I wanted to talk about this reflection. So something I had wanted to do was make a blog, but I couldn't do it. I had actually created a blog. I had actually created two, but shh. Because I wanted another way to connect. And I tend to be better through the written word, but I deleted both. I had figured that it wasn't the best thing for me or for our channel at least at the present time. I also just realized my lights aren't on. I hope you like the direct sunlight. One of the reasons why I'm so hot. Woo, again, the energy, blog, not now, maybe in the future, I don't know. But this is considering everything that is going on, everything that will be going on. And the point I'm trying to make with this reflection is it is okay to put aside a project. It's okay to have to scrap an idea. Sometimes things don't work out. The timing is wrong. Situations change. And that's okay. I'm not saying don't try. If you want to try, go ahead. You have my full support to try that idea, whatever you wanna do. But if you have to quit, it's not a failure. And that's what I wanted to say. Don't think of yourself a failure just because you can't do something right now. My energy depleted a little bit. Aww. <laughs> uh, oh, before I forget, I got new bookcases. So now the background is something I'm kind of proud of and my books aren't on the floor. Speaking of books, this month's book review is The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. Hayden or Haddon? It was written from the perspective of a 15 year old math whiz who has an undisclosed disorder, disability, um, something. And it sounded like either Asperger's or Savant syndrome. It was actually tough for me to read, but that's because I believe I don't have this sort of behavioral difficulty. And what I mean by that, it was hard to get into the mind of a 15 year old boy with Asperger's, and I believe it was Asperger's, when I myself don't have Asperger's. So I attribute my disability, my mm, inability. I attribute my inability to understand at that, but I did try, especially because my brother has Asperger's. I'm gonna be honest, I was disappointed. Hold on a second. Okay, so according to the author, the protagonist did have Asperger's. I think that was kind of obvious though. But he also said the book is not about the disorder or any disorder, it's about difference, about being an outsider. I didn't get that. I'm not sure I can give it an honest review because I feel like I just didn't understand. And either way, I wasn't a big fan of it. Critically, everyone disagrees with me, but I know what I like and I know what I don't. I don't particularly like it. So I give this book two dead poodles out of five. And that's all I have for today. It was an odd review. I'm sorry for that, but if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you, you beautiful people, for watching, and stay weird. Bye! The reflection's over, so I can take this blazer off now, and the hat.